Hello, welcome back to another War Kings video. Here we have a 1v1, and I'm just going to show the whole battle again. It was a pretty good match, and it's a good example of how to set up for the newer players. Uh, if you've been playing for a while, or you're more of a pro, uh, you probably know a lot of this, or you probably already have a setup ready, but if you're a newer player, this should definitely help you out. At least give you some kind of idea of what you need to do. So I'm, I'm going to show this build phase here, uh, kind of what you need to do. But I hope everybody had a good Christmas. You know, I, I know that just passed, so hopefully everyone got what they wanted from Santa. So yeah, here we just uh, keep building the farms, keep building the gold mines, just keep them producing. So I had put two on barracks just to hurry up and get my army out there. On a 1v1 I like to have that army out there pretty quickly. Uh, usually you want to anyways, but I'm going to start off with archers because you don't need to level up to make those. So it's a good first unit to make. So we're just going to get those started, get those guys pumping out. Then you got all these extra workers, so you want to make sure they're still getting your resources. So we're going to throw those guys on wood. Throw those guys in stone. And finish up these farm and gold mines. Now the workers are starting to get done with that too, so we're gonna get those and pull them to different resources. Now at this time we're doing pretty good. We still have two minutes of the peace time and we have troops coming out of four barracks. So we're gonna have a pretty good number size right there in the beginning. Now I did that with the workers just to move them to the side a little bit because sometimes it just takes a moment out of your time to uh, click your troops on the stone and then you accidentally click a worker so it kind of just messes you up and it takes a little bit of time so I like to like move them over to the side a little bit to kind of help out. Now today I have a couple 1v1s planned. I have a 1v1 with UZB Legion. That should be interesting. I'm going to get that on video and I'll post that and then I have another match uh, another two matches to do with sad boy ph and another person so today is gonna be pretty uh, pretty intense we got a lot of 1v1s coming up after today and it should be interesting to see how those play out so right now we're just waiting for the magic shop I wanna get that going ASAP There's a quick misclick. I don't really like using the archer towers personally, but we're going to get the stables out there. Should have had those quicker. I prefer having the stables done, so by the time you hit level 2, you can already just switch to mammoths and get those pumping out pretty quickly. So I was a little bit behind on that, but uh, we're still moving pretty good. Still getting it. Going to get some more academies. I was a little slow on that, but uh, we're doing pretty good here. Now peacetime is almost over, we got 10 seconds and peacetime is no more and then the battle begins. 
and do a little scouting. And I like to make like two or three of each just to make sure they're going for a while. At this point you should have enough bank, a gold bank. If you put them to level two, uh, you can see I'm already almost at 15,000. So it's a good idea to get those started really quickly. Boom, some of the stables are done. We're gonna get those mammoths going. And we're gonna hurry up and send that army out. While we have that first wave going, we're just going to keep the workers going and keep building more academies and more barracks. You want to make sure you keep working on that tech and get that done as quickly as possible. The sooner you get that tech done, the more you'll be able to bank up resources. Now I don't usually use a cathedral, but it's, it's pretty fun to use a cathedral just for the healing. It'll heal up your troops, so it will help out in battle. Uh, just, they're a little tricky. They're really slow, so. And right away, you see my troops are hitting his army. He has his in the front, and I just didn't plan that well. I wasn't paying attention at the time. But, you know, these things happen. At least now I know where the base is. We're not going to worry about it too much. And there's not many losses. I'm going to try to throw them in the bag, see if I can make a little damage. Take a build or not. Now you see what he has there. He has a lot of archers and cavalry. We all know cavalry is not a good choice. And we'll see that play out. They just die. They're not a good meat shield. Now that mammoths are out, it's just it's a waste of resources, a waste of time. Might as well make the mammoths. And you see our gold count. It's already almost 30,000. That's why you want to increase those to level 2 right away. Because later on you're, you're really going to need that gold for the tech increases. So here's another wave, we have that coming in. I'm just gonna move that to the side. I definitely don't want those to be seen right away. Now this was close. <laughs> I'm just passing through here. I'm, I'm really surprised he didn't see me on those. This is where tactics go into play a little bit because you, know, you can't just send your army into the enemy and hope to win. You, you gotta do some tactics, you gotta do some troop maneuvering, you know, you gotta get a little spicy out there. But yeah, I, I suggest not just sending, making a huge army and sending it in. Um, you can do that, but I prefer to split out my army a little bit and do pincer attacks and try to hit where vulnerable and do the damage where I can. I, I feel like that's a better technique. Here we're just checking on the tech, making sure we get them all done. Now you can see that second wave is on the side right now, and the new troops are coming out. Now the priests come from the cathedral, and they give a bit of healing, as I said before, but they are really slow. They won't actually keep up with the army too well. And you see that he's got his big army right in front. Got my army here to the side, and then I also have one to the right side of his base. So I'm just going to keep adding to where that army is. Now here, I wanted him to see what I had and send my army and hope that he took the bait for it. I think here he was planning on going for an attack on me but you can see I, he quickly stopped. So we are gonna do some damage to some buildings right away. He was a little bit out of position. So right there, we're gonna get the farm and then the back of his base is wide open and this is where the tactics come into play. His entire army is right there in the front, but we're smashing him back. It's, just, it's not working out too well for him at the moment. 
But he has made a large army. There's our army in the back just destroying some buildings here and there. And he's kind of in a mad scramble at this point. He's trying to run to the back. Now he does have the mammoths going, so he did see the error of his way and stop making as many cavalry. And it, we're just ripping into him at this point. It's He's losing most of his base. Oh, you see that? The walls. Got some wall trickery in this one. Wouldn't be a good 1v1 without a bunch of walls. <laughs> this is just desperation at this point. He's he's trying to slow me down, do whatever he can at this point. Now he pretty much cleared the army in the back. Uh, and in the front, so he, at the moment he can breathe a sigh of relief. But I'm going to send another wave at him and... Uh, get the level 3 going. Now for some reason it didn't actually send when I went to click the first time so that's why you saw me clicking back to base real quick. And here we are we're gonna make the undead the level 3 troops. As I said before, we have a bunch of 1v1s coming up today. I have a bunch of people I plan on playing. So I would definitely look forward to those 1v1s coming out later today or tomorrow. Because they should be very interesting. And here he's just trying to box me in a little bit, so I'm going to move to the right. But as you can see, at the time when he started this, I was, you know, starting on my undead. So he kind of got me in a position where I was a bit distracted. Here we are, I'm just going to get all my troops together by that wall. And here I'm just going to send an army way out left. And again, I'm a bit distracted trying to get these troops producing. Because I just completed all those buildings. So I want to hurry up and get those completed. While I'm also trying to get, get, you know, figure out what to do about these walls. So I'm going to just move all the way to the left. And try to hurry up and finish these up. Because that was the real problem. I was trying to hurry up and uh, get these troops producing. And in that time he was solely focused on the wall. You can, you can see the red lines right now. So we're finally done with that. I'm going to throw those guys on some resources. And as you can see, the, he's still doing the walls and we're just, you know, we're going to have to prioritize. So now I see, you know, <laughs> all the crap that's happening. So, we got to figure out a way to get out of this stupid box. But, I mean, it is funny and this does happen if you're not, you know, paying complete attention. But... You know, the walls only stop for a couple seconds. It's fun, but, I mean, you see I can still move out of it. Um, <laughs> right there he gets another stop on me, so I'm just going to take everyone and break through the wall. He didn't really keep up with it too much. Uh, I've met some people who can spam on the wall, so luckily he didn't really do that too much. I'm going to send another wave to the right side. I have one on the left, one on the right, and then, of course, this one here up front. And I'm not sure what he was doing here because he kind of forgot about the walls at this point. So I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to send an army in the back to do the damage. And then an army in the front to pull his army into mine. Now he didn't have that many troops on the left side at this time. So I was able to pretty much take out all his troops really quickly. And as you see, he's he thought about meeting me out on the right side. But I think he stopped right there and decided not to. I'm gonna buff up my army. And with his army and him being out of position, we are gonna just destroy his his base. And here, he decides to just yellow charge. So I'm gonna send my troops back and meet him head on. I already have quite a bit at base, so I wasn't really worried about it. Gonna make sure I pull the mammoths. 
and that's where the battle's going to be. So I'm going to set up my troops up front. And they are getting really close, so you have to micromanage a little bit, and we're attacking the base, you have to finish that up, and then also defend it. But his base is destroyed, so he is just doing a YOLO charge, he's just going for it at this point. But you know what? <laughs> I can do walls too, you know, I mean... I had to wait for some troops. Like I said, I wasn't that worried about it. He has a lot of cavalry, but I'm going to make some walls too. Why not? Now, I could have just gone crazy with it, but I just thought I would just make a simple little box and gate it up. Rare. We have all of those troops producing, so we're going to send them right in, right into the brunt of his force. Going to send the rest of the troops that were taking out his base and just send them right to the bridge. And, there's just the and his army is pretty much decimated at this point. And the reinforcements are about to get there, so this is about to be a massacre. It's gonna get a little bit But as they come in, they're just gonna smash into the reinforcements, and I'm gonna close the gate, quickly destroy these troops, and then reopen up the gate. And he's not really gonna be able to manage to, to do anything. Now from here, as my troops come in, he decides to just hightail it out. He, he just wants to get out of there. So he just sends everything to the right. But he has no base. His army is pretty much gone. And there's really nothing you can do. That's going to conclude this battle. Now, I, you know, you see my troops. I wasn't really commanding them at this time. Because, I mean, the battle's already done. So I'm just going to send them to the right and just destroy the last bit of his army. And there you have it. 750 kills. And you know what? We're even going to get a couple more after. Uh, it was a good match. And like I said, I have a bunch of 1v1s coming up. I, I suggest you guys check out. I'll be playing those today. I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'll see you guys on the next video.